アコーナー 183cm92.80kg ブラックロハスカはとても強いです。ロハスカはとても強いです。ロハスカはとても強いです。ロハスカはとても強いです。ロハスカはとても強いです。ロハスカはとても強いです。ロハスカはとても強いです。ロハスカはとても強いです。ロハスカはとても強いです。ロハスカはとても強いです。ロハスカはとても強いです。ロハスカはとても強いです。ロハスカはとても強いです。ロハスカはとても強いです。ロハスカはとても強いです。ロハスカはとても強いです。ロハスカはとても強いです。All right, here we go. Is this one going to end early? Zachary Halsey takes the center of the ring. Rahaska in a counter fighting style looking for that jumping knee, Frank. Right off the bat. Angelo, takedown attempt there, and he's just about got it. Halsey's trying to drive him forward. Takes the back just like that, and one hook is in. Get, he's got his other hook in. Oh, no, no, no. He's doing okay. He's riding legs at this point. He's got a power half. Okay, as you can see on your screen, there are different timing here. This one here will basically be a 10 minute first round, five minutes second round, and elbows are allowed, Frank. Like it. Old school. Frank can throw out the leg and throw out the hook in if he wants to. He's in a perfect position to do it. Switching yeah, his opponent over. Now he's got to hawk control. He let him rotate. All he had to do was put that other hook and he could have flattened him out. Brandon must see something I can't see from here. You know, I am Kate. We are uh, uh, ringside. We're definitely not in the ring. So we can't see everything that Brandon does. That pressure. Jeez. He's just... I talked to Antonio McKee um, about working with him. He's like, dude, he's getting so big and so good now. I have to stop rolling with him because I just get smashed underneath him. And McKee is amazing underneath. Like he's got an incredible game when he's on his back, getting up, getting away. He's like, with Brandon on top of me, I can't get away. I'm just stuck there for the whole hour. Controlling the Halsey right now on top, slowly but surely using those elbows. What does Prohaska need to do right now to get out of this position? Because you don't want this guy on top of you, especially since he's already been cut. Dig, dig Can't his, see uh, it from this angle, but yeah. he's been cut. Left side of his face has been cut. Left hand, he's doing a good job getting his left hand dug in, but every time he digs his knee, he's getting caught another choke. So he's able to get himself to his hands and knees, doing a good job of returning. Good hip pressure. He's got to get his head up a little bit higher. Oh, now he's caught a choke. Right, now he's got that guitar. Oh, he's cranking it. Yeah. He's cranking it. You can it's see. It's under the chin. It's under the chin. Oh, you can see him squeezing there. This does not look good for Husky. He'll go out. He's going to tap him this way. You think he'll tap? He'll go out. He'll, just go, he'll block out. He'll just, he'll be out. No, he's breathing. Oh, no, he's, he's breathing. getting some breath in there. Yeah, he's breathing. He's trying to squeeze his head through. Trying to squeeze his head through. The pressure by Brandon is on. You can see Brandon squeezing. his forearms and his head squeezing. Trying to turn his, his Brohaska, trying to turn his opponent over. Referee's in the way. Working his head through, trying to get under the armpit. Oh, he had, unlike I said, Brandon. Brandon's he's out. lost it. He survived. Brohaska has survived this, it looks like. Brandon adjusting. He's got his head out. Unbelievable. Wow, that was that was a straight run. He, there was, there was no real technique in that. He just running it out to get himself out of that position. Now he's got to basically watch his neck again. Uh -oh. Now he's on top. He's going to try and make Brandon pay. Looking for his left there. Don't be surprised if the soccer kicks come, Frank. There's a jumping knee. He's been wanting that since the beginning of the fight. How's he falling through the ropes here? Caught. He's got to get his leg through there. Is that a punch or knock him down? Was that simple? I don't know. I tell. We have to do this way. Let's hope he doesn't get twisted up and get injured there. Yeah, that was a weird little position. Second position. 
Seems to be coming here. heavy now. He's going to come hard and oh, heavy. Oh, he has to. Four minutes and more have gone in this first round here. Safe to safe for Huska now. To watch his distance. Got to watch that takedown attempt again. Careful with the kicks. There's the jumping knee. He's timing it, Frank, on the takedown attempt. Yeah, he's trying to catch him in. He's got to get him away from the ropes. Huska did a great job of using the ropes to his advantage and keep something like that down. Going for the underhook there. He's got the right underhook in. And he's in a good position. If he can just get a little space, he can step around that and lock him down. Knee there right for Huska. Trying to get oh, trying to push the corner again through the ropes. Oh, he fell right down to the mat, Frank. Oh, he hurt his back. He hurt his back. They just stopped the time. He fell on his back. I don't know if he's going to be able to continue, Frank. We felt that on, I mean, the, the, he hit the mat. We could feel it on our feet, and that's about, what, 20 feet away from us? Yeah, easy, yeah. If, if, it was a if it's thud. that close. And it was loud as crap when he hit the ground. Doctor now just came across our broadcast. He was running over to Brandon. There he goes. He falls through there. Oh. Did he fall through his own there? Yeah, look, yeah, it did actually. Now we're looking at it. It looked like he fell through his own. We're in old school wrestling here, Frank. Yeah, this is WWE. Cool. Where's the referee? The ten count. He's trying to use, he's trying to use the ropes on his advantage. That's a little weird. Oh, he's, he's actually pulling up the yellow card, Frank. He's pulling up the yellow card. He's falling through the ropes. To be red card. I think he did it on purpose. To be red card. Okay. Red? No. Yeah. Oh, no. No. Just the yellow. Giving him a yellow card. That's 20% yep. of the overall advantage to win the fight. So now he's automatically dealing with 80%. The best he can get is 80%. I'm trying to jog my memory from the old pride and dream days, but I don't think that's ever happened before for that type of yellow card. No, not to my knowledge. I'm sure the folks at home will fix it and let us know. <laughs> Rahaska bleeding from the left side of his face, keeping his distance. Should he bother with that jumping knee again, Frank, or just strictly worry about his striking? No, he's going to worry about his striking right now. Every time he's caught in there, a little bit harder of a double. How is he chasing him? Chasing him. He looks at the ropes again. No. Oh, Rahaska's mocking him, Frank. You can't blame him. Frank's trying to use the ropes to his advantage. He's getting, he's Look, it's making him look bad as he's doing it. Oh, his finger poke to the eye. I think he was using his hands to push his opponent back, but no intentional eye poke in my opinion. Brandon now, figuring out the game plan here. We're midway through the opening round. That was the beautiful wow. overhand right into the takedown. But he's got to watch his neck now. Yeah, absolutely. We saw it with the quick shank. He goes to the takedown. He takes on the ref with him. Taking for Hoskins back, looking for the first hook. No, he's going to ride him here, Frank. Oh, he oh, left his head he up. He left his head right up what there. What the heck was he doing? Cranky now, Brandon Cranky. He's got, oh, he's got the form across now, Frank. He turning it. in. He's he turning in. He needs to get back on top. He needs to make sure. Oh, he fell out. He needs to make sure he's back on top. It's a bad position. It's a bad position to be in with Jury on top of you. He's throwing those bombs right now. Just chasing his opponent down the mat, underneath the armpit. Dangerous stuff here. Up, this could be it. It's over. It is all over. Brandon just quit. I mean, that, that's all that happened in that one. He just, he just gave up on that one. He was in, he had a bunch of bird positions. Obviously taking a fight on short notice gives you bad cardio. He had great position changes, had had two great submissions then. 
Could have finished the fight if he had a little more grunt, but he didn't have it. Your Prohaska emerges victorious this evening. He was caught in some bad scenarios in this fight. That guillotine attempt could have been lights out. Many other fighters would have said, that's it, I am out. I thought for sure that if he, I, I, he wasn't going to tap, he was going to go out. Yeah. But he proved otherwise. What a tough, tough kid. Jerry is just, I mean, he's just amazing. Hoskins has the game because, I mean, even on short notice, Brandon Halsey is not an easy out. No, not at all. But if you go back to Prohaska's fight with Carl Albrecht, I mean, he took a beating in that fight and kept going and going and going and going and emerged victorious. He's trying to get over. He just kind of gave me the shaking of the head. Yeah. I don't think he's happy with the performance. No, because he got caught twice in, in two switch attempts that could have finished the fight. He battles way out of it. Better talk to Antonio sometime tonight and find out what, what exactly happened to his back and how he's feeling and all that stuff, but we'll see. Hello, Japan! Hey! Hmm? Thank you. Thank you, everybody who support me. Hey, Nihon, everyone! Hello, and thank you for supporting me and supporting me. Jsem šťastný, že můžu zápasit na území Japonska bývalý samurajů. Samurai no kuni, Nihon de tatakau koto ga dekte, to je mu uresi des. Kteří jsou mi velkou inspirací Bushido, podobě Bushido, ale... Bushido no pokoro, inspiration o monatte tatakai mašta. Ale jsem z Česka, České republiky. I want to show the best performance every time I enter the rising ring. Title fight about belt.バスバスリズムのことも言い、対戦相手でしたけれど、私はさらに挑戦を続けてライトヘビー級の最高の頂上まで辿り着きたいと思います。と言え、と言えます。Thanks for his opponent. This is my opponent was a good opponent. I have my work cut out for me this evening, but I want more challenges. This is what I do as a fighter. Continue to take more challenges. I want to fight for the Ryzen light heavyweight title. Thanks to the crowd once again for coming out and supporting on New Year's Eve. He's like, look, I want to fight Miracle Crow Cop. There it is, the call out. He goes, Miracle Crow Cop or anybody, I just want to continue fighting. Yir Prohaska proudly representing the Czech Republic. Emerges victorious this evening, Frank. This guy continues to prove. I mean, he's at fight. He's at. He's fighting at 205 pounds now. Obviously, Mirko Kolkov competing in the heavyweight division. Comes by the booth here, bowing to both of us. Very respectful individual. Yeah, yeah great guy. Um, great warrior. Great, great samurai spirit. It's, it's still got to improve. He's obviously has a weakness in his ground game. He uh, uh, showed his toughness though, because he really didn't use any technique to get out of it. He just outgrunted.